Good afternoon, everyone. We strongly believe that um, extrajudicial killing, most especially in the Philippines, should be stopped because summary execution or the extralegal killing defined by the United Nations Office of the Commission of, of the Higher Commissioner for Human Rights or UNOHCHR as the deprivation of life without full judicial or legal proceedings with the involvement, complicity, um, acquiescence and tolerance of the government and its agent is against the International Covenant on Civil Political Rights or ICCPR Article 2, Section 1 that says all humans have the right to life and that all shall be protected by the law. And it's also against the Philippine Constitution Article 2, Section 2, that says that our country adopts the generally accepted principles of international law as part of the law of the land and adheres to the policy of peace and equality of all nations, which means Philippines abides the law of the ICCPR Article 6, Section 2, saying everyone should be protected by the law and everyone should be or should have the right to love. That's our side. Thank you. I just want to answer uh, Ms. Geraldine's speech about the preamble of the Philippines supporting extrajudicial killing. Now, based on our, um, the revised penal code of 1932, Article 3815, um, Section 148 and 249, extrajudicial killing is said to be homicide or murder. Now, homicide and mur murder doesn't talk about any equality and it's against human rights of ICCPR. Um, Article 6, Section 1. Now also, I would want to present um, statistics. Uh, a lot of people don't like the Marcos regime. That's seven, seven regimes ago. Um, on the total of Marcos regime, there are 3,257 extrajudicial killings. That's a total of everything. But for, Mar uh, for Duterte's um, extrajudicial killing, for first three months when he seated, he had 805 extrajudicial killing cases. That means after six years, he will have 700% more extrajudicial, extrajudicial killing cases than the Marcos's regime. Do you want to grow your children into the killing? No, right? We don't want this. And based on the study in 2003, um, War on Drugs in Thailand, led by Prime Minister Shiwatra, he had about 2,800 extrajudicial killing for the first three months. After four years, in 2007, they reviewed and investigated and they found out that more than half of those killed were not related into any crimes. That means they're innocent. That's all. Extrajudicial killing in the Philippines, encouraged by the President of the Philippines, may lead to further decay of law and order. Why? Granting the police the power to kill um, without, any, without any reserve would lead to removing the strain from the government. That means the government will be pressurized. And when the government depressurized, they will pass the power to the civilians. And when the civilians get the power, the police officers or the police force will, get, will be depressurized as well. That means if the government as well as the police force will be depressurized, it will lead to further corruption. They will have no work to do because civilians as well as vigilantes are doing the job the government should be doing. And the government should actually provide protection for all the people based on the law on our um, Philippine constitution as well as international law. That's it.